Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will take a look at a tutorial on how to access your Raspberry Pi remotely using Cloudflare's tunneling service. I know that there are many other ways to access your Raspberry Pi remotely, but this method is one of the most secure way in my opinion, and it is also 100% free. So let me quickly show you a demo on what we are trying to do here. Uh, as you can see, I have logged into my Raspberry Pi using my local IP. Since I am at my home, I can log into it using the local IP. But if you are not in your home, if you are outside and if you want to access your Raspberry Pi, you won't be able to do it using a local IP, right? So that's where this Cloudflare tunneling service comes in. So in this Raspberry Pi, I have already set up uh, this SSH, remote SSH thing. And I will show you a demo of how it works. So you will assign a domain name to this uh, SSH port. and Cloudflare allows multiple ways of authenticating. I have chosen email. So once you access a domain name, it will ask for your email. You will also whitelist this email. So it will only allow your email. If you want to whitelist others, you can also do, do that. So let me quickly go back to my email and uh, check for this OTP. Yeah, here we have received this OTP. Let me copy it and come back and paste it here. It should redirect to you to the login page. Let's wait for a second. Yeah, you can see it is loading the SSH session, and this is the user of your Raspberry Pi. So internal user. So I'm giving the username and the password, and now you should be greeted with the yeah SSH session. So this is what we are trying to achieve today. So let us uh, get started. Before getting started, please note that you must have Cloudflare tunneling services installed in your Raspberry Pi already. If you have not done that, I have uh, done a detailed video on that very recently. You can uh, uh, follow the link in the description below and follow the steps there and come back to this video again for the SSH remote setup. This video will show you how to uh, get a free domain name and set up Cloudflare in your Raspberry Pi and also expose your local services. I have logged into my Cloudflare dashboard already and uh, for today's tutorial we are going to use the same domain name which we used in the previous video. This is jeffreyanto.tk and let's add a new subdomain name for our SSH setup. So you can see a couple of uh, subdomains which we have added already. So now click on add record and add a new subdomain CNAME and give SSH here. You can give any name you want here but SSH will be easier for us to identify and the target is uh, the name UUID of your tunnel, so which is already present here. So I will just copy that and paste it here and save it. Yeah, now you can see we have a new subdomain name for SSH. We also need to add a couple of things in the SSH config file. So let us open up the SSH config file and add those two lines. Go to root SSH. Open up the config and I've also copied this uh, code snippet here. So there's nothing but uh, the host name. Uh, you're basically uh, instructing the SSH to allow the connection from this host. So change this host name and the username according to your user. Just gonna paste it here and save it. Okay, now we are uh, done with the setup inside the Raspberry Pi. Let's go back to Cloudflare dashboard and uh, do rest of the configuration. Okay guys, now we are inside our Cloudflare dashboard. Click on access and uh, you'll see a link for the Zero Trust dashboard. Yeah, and uh, click on launch Zero Trust here. It will redirect you to the Cloudflare Zero Trust dashboard. Now we'll click on access and click on applications. So here you'll see already there is an application which I created for my other uh, server. So we'll create a new application for the server which we are trying to create uh, remote access today. Select self-hosted here. Yeah, now uh, you need to give some application name. I'm going to give Raspi SSH. You can give whatever is relevant for you. Session duration is uh, 24 hours. I will leave it as it is. And remember, we have already created a subdomain uh, for this purpose, which is jeffreyhunter.tk. Make sure you select the appropriate the subdomain and domain name. We'll leave other settings as it is and uh, click on next. Yeah. Now we need to give any policy name. We will 
give this as hello SSH and the action is hello on the session duration is will give it for 12 hours you can select whichever is uh, convenient for you and the selector is this is the important part where uh, you have multiple options of uh, no, configuring the rules here as I showed you in the previous demo uh, email is one of the best way for uh, evaluating it or else there are other ways to evaluate also you can use IP ranges you can restrict access using the IP ranges based on geography and all these things are available here but for today's tutorial we are going to use the emails option uh, if you select this it will only allow the emails which you have whitelisted here in the values column you can also use wildcard here but I will just use emails today and uh, give your email ID here so I'm going to just uh, whitelist my Gmail ID. Yeah, now uh, this should be added. We can move on to the next step. And uh, there's one important option here in the next step, which we are interested in. This is the browser rendering. If you enable this, this will allow you to access the SSH from the browser itself, which is uh, you a know, more convenient way if you're uh, traveling with uh, limited access to terminal and everything, this will be much more convenient for you. So we will ena enable it and finally we'll add this application now we will head back to our raspberry pi and start restart the tunnel once and we'll try to access this ssh from the browser now we have uh, restarted the cloudflare service with my raspberry pi so we'll just open up a new incognito window and we'll try to access the url which we just created ssh yeah See, now we can see the Cloudflare authentication page. Now we'll give our email ID. What this will do, this will say, send an OTP to your email address. Let us go back to our uh, Gmail address and let's see if whether it's, uh, yeah, you can see we just received a new OTP here. Just copy it. We'll go to the new window which we logged in and click on sign in. Yeah, now this will redirect you to the login page of the Ubuntu server. This is the server uh, username. Yeah, and the password which you use, you can also use private key. I'm going to use password here. And press on enter. That's it, it's working. Perfect. Now we are inside our uh, Raspberry Pi from the browser itself. You can also use the same URL to log in from your local terminal. And uh, this procedure is not only specific to Raspberry Pi. You can follow the same steps for other Linux machines and servers as well. Thanks for watching. If you found this uh, video useful, please subscribe to the channel. And I'll leave a link to all the code snippets and the other Cloudflare tunnel setup videos below. Thank you.